on. I'm getting prepped. I have my clients coming soon, so I'm gonna talk to you in a second. Y'all, tell me why I went food shopping. All right, I bought a lot of things um, yesterday. I went food shopping. I got everything, and I forgot to bring lunch to work. The whole idea was buy your yogurt parfait, buy your fruits and stuff, make some food, and then stop spending money eating out so you can bring lunch to work. Y'all, I forgot it. I had to go to Dunkin' Donuts. All I got was a turkey sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. This cost me, how much was it with tax? I think it was like $6.52. Crazy. But it's my fault, though. It's my fault because I should have remembered. I'm definitely going to meal prep this week, set up all my items, and I got to stop spending money. I got to stop spending money on food. Like, I went grocery shopping for a reason. <laughs> Let me make sure at least it tastes good. I mean, it looks decent. But I got so much bread. I bought, like, um, the Panera Everything Seasoned Bread, and I also bought their bagel. I could have made like the vegan um, sour cream, I mean not sour cream, cream cheese, so something. With the bread and all that, girl, I wasn't thinking. It is tastes good, but I had a busy day. I'm gonna have really detailed artwork today. And I'm excited for my first client. She's someone new. I'm excited to meet her. So anyway, let me finish setting up.
so cold outside y'all I could have swore it was supposed to be in spring isn't it supposed to be spring right now like I'm so confused it is so cold my fingertips feel numb but the craziness is it says 40 degrees which 40 degrees technically is not that cold but it feels like it's 25 degrees outside. Y'all, it is so fucking cold. Side of the sweaters like I just and my toes I haven't painted my toes in months I can't wait to paint it and put it in sandals and heels and boots open toe boots and all that I need to heat up my food but I don't want to go in there yet because people are gonna try to start try to like small talk with me and I'm horrible at that I hate it so much so I'm just waiting for them to get out the kitchen like do y'all do that? I hate small talk so much, so I'm just waiting for this lady to leave so I can heat up my food. <laughs> I don't wanna talk. You should talk forever. <sighs> Damn it. Now it's new people. Now I gotta wait more. Listen. I don't hate men. I just want to start off by saying that I don't hate men but I would say about out of a hundred percent seventy percent of y'all get on my nerves get on my damn nerves it's like they all share a brain cell it's actually crazy but anyway so when, when I was younger in high school I wasn't unpopular, but I also wasn't popular. I was well known. Everybody in the community know, knew me because we all grew up together, we went to the same schools, etc, etc. However, I know the guys that I was attracted to definitely didn't pay me no mind. Like no one was really trying to get on me like that, especially like the ones that I was attracted to. And it's insane how you fast forward to now, you know, I'm, I'm 38 now decades later right and all of a sudden now they all have an interest all of a sudden now they all want to talk to me all of a sudden now they all want to like hop into my me messages in my in my inbox try to have a conversation try to sir <laughs> absolutely not so being fed up because um i just kept receiving so many messages it was so irritating y'all so i was just like i'm not gonna go and and individually call out these people 
So I put up a, a throwback photo of myself. And I wrote down on, on my Facebook, I was like, do not slide into my inbox if you paid me absolutely no mind back then. And I am definitely not interested. You are all way too fixated on looks. My heart is just as pure as it was back then. Only difference now is I'm grown and leveled up in life. Thank you, sir. Have a blessed day. That's all I put. And then I put a throwback photo of me. Right? This was me in high school. This was probably like... 2005? 2004-2005. That's throwback Lizzy, alright? In her regular element. That That's who I was. Y'all didn't pay me no mind. I don't need you to be on me right now. But here's, here's why I say like men get on my nerves. And... It's not all of y'all, don't come for me, but I, about 70% of y'all get on my nerves because I wrote that to say what I gotta say, right? And, and, and they still don't get it. And people are still in my inbox talking about, what you mean, lady? You've always been really pretty. Oh, you've always been cute. That I, Sir, <laughs> it is not the time. It is not the time for you to try to holler at me right now. It's not the time and place. It doesn't make you look like you're better than everyone else. I know they're, they're in their, in his mind, in these people's minds, because there's a few of them, they might be thinking like, oh, she's feeling that way, well, let, let me let her know I always liked her. No, <laughs> I don't want you to contact me, I don't want you. And then one of the guys that was really annoying, who I've been ignoring, I'm not even reading your message. I didn't read the last one. I didn't read the one before that. I'm just like, I'm not even paying attention to it. And then he has the nerve to, to like try to tell me how he always had a crush on me and blah, blah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I had one random guy who, when I tell you this boy paid me no mind. And I'm not going to lie. Back then, he was super fly. Like a lot of people look better back then than, let's be honest, than what they look like now as an adult. So you didn't pay me no mind. And then on top of that, you had a crush on my friend. So you're trying to get on my friend. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like, you weren't into me, whatever. But then fast forward now, and then he tries to message me. So then, you know, I play along for, like, a second. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Da -da -da. And then he tries to tell me, like, oh, don't you, don't you think you and I should hang out and kind of, like, get together and, and go out on a date? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You do not have the same game you had back then. It's different. It's years later. You don't look the same. I'm not impressed. You're, you're dressed the same. You're in the same situation. Like, nothing's changed. And even if it had, like, what makes you think that I'm, I've been just sitting around waiting on you? Like, people are delusional. But anyway, I put that post so people can leave me alone and actually get a grip. And... You know, just use common sense. And they're still trying to message me. And still trying to... <sighs> Y'all get on my nerves, I swear. Y'all get on my nerves.
Good morning, y'all. Before I start, I know, I'm wearing the same thing. Don't judge me. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta repeat an outfit. The only thing I switched out was my shoes, but I'm wearing the same pants, the same top. I really don't care right now. But anyway, I wanna show you something that I got last night when I went to TJ Maxx, because clearly I'm obsessed. But y'all, look what I found. I am so obsessed with this freaking cup. I bought two of them. The other one's down there. You don't need to see it because they look exactly alike. But y'all, let me get my face out of the frame so you can see up close. Wait, is that better? Yeah. Y'all, look at this cup. Obviously, I'm not going to drink out of it. It's just way too cute. I'm going to use it as like a display on like my kitchen tables. I know I ain't got no furniture and y'all probably sick and tired of me shopping around for accessories and decorations with no furniture, but it's okay. It's all good because I'm manifesting my future place. I've already mapped out in my brain and my crazy brain. I've mapped out how I want it decorated and you know, what type of furniture and pieces, etc. I just haven't invested yet. But in the meantime, if I come around anything that I like and I want to collect so I can add it to my beautiful future home look at that that is just too cute oh my goodness and i love how it's like the ombre from the purple to the pink anyway i just want to show you um show it off to y'all i gotta get to work because i'm running late y'all this right here this drink is the worst drink on the planet this thing the kool-aid um jammers it says strawberry kiwi juice i bought a pack of it if you've seen my last um video on it when i went grocery shopping i bought a pack of these because i just wanted like juice or you know things in my in my salon just in case i don't have time i have like a drink or snack or something but it tastes like pure sugar this is diabetes in a container that's that's what it is and I don't know what the other brand is. I, I forgot the name. It's not the Kool-Aid brand. There's a different brand that I purchased a long time ago. But the problem is I can't remember what the name is. And they had pouches as well. But they had like, I think the one that I like was pineapple. I think it was like pineapple and something else. Pineapple mango or something like that. But it tasted very refreshing. And I could taste the flavor of the fruits. And it wasn't as sweet. So when I purchased this, I was expecting the same results, but it's not. It's just, <laughs> it's just pure sugar. I'm about to put it in the fridge, in the kitchen, and whoever wants to take it can take it because y'all, that is just so sweet. Like I can't, I can't do it.
what a crazy morning. It is, well, it's not even morning anymore. It's, um, oh, this light is in my face. It's 3.58 p.m. I'm just now having what's supposed to be my breakfast. I know. It's been like back to back. It's Saturday, so I'm off um, tomorrow and Monday. I'm usually off Sunday, Monday. But the trains were acting up. I got on the train, and in the middle of riding my train, of course, they, they tell us that it's the last stop, so then I had to switch over. So me and my first client, we ended up being 30 minutes late to the appointment, and then it kept trickling down, trickling down, trickling down. So I rushed in here. I didn't even get to eat. I'm just now eating, and then my other client is late now, so she's going to get here in a few minutes. But anyway, so I'm about to have some of this, some of the vanilla roll that I got last time. But I wanted to try this drink. I don't usually drink sparkling water. I don't typically like sparkling water however i was curious about this and it's the chai forest chai or chi i'm not sure how to say sparkling water zero sugar zero calories and it's the lychee fizzy this tastes so good so good this brand right here i'm shocked at how delicious it is it's actually really delicious it's really refreshing i'm definitely gonna buy more in the future but i got a few minutes to eat because it's crazy out here so I'm going to do that.
Y'all, I'm so tired. It is, what time is it? It's 10.06 p.m. I finished at 7, 7 something? Because it's Saturday, on the weekends I'm open 11 to 7. But the reason why I'm here so late is because I took my nails off. It was like a month, going on a month with my um, birthday nails because I did it before. I did it, girl, I'm tired. <laughs> because I did it last month. So it's, it, it's about to make a month and it's getting dingy and crusty. And um, I've been lazy. That's the problem. And the thing is like when I'm feeling lazy and I need to do my nails, if I don't take them off, I won't do it. I'll just keep holding on to it. And that's gross because the nails look absolutely disgusting. So this is what I do to trick my mind. Because I hate looking at them. They look like stubs and they're, I don't know. They look really ugly when they're short. I just don't like my nails short. So if I do that, then I'm basically forcing myself to actually come in and do it. Because y'all, I don't know what's happening with me lately, but insomnia, laziness, everything is hitting me up back to back. I need to, oh, I need to push myself out of that habit. It's not good. But... I think I'm going to call it a vlog on this one because I'm tired. Now it's time for me to just go home, chill, relax. I'm going to get home too late to eat. That's the only thing. So I'm going to have to maybe have like a late night yoga parfait. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do that because it's too late to eat anything else. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm talking too much. I need to get out of here.